power-hungry smartphones these days are usually tested out using benchmarks, such as I did with the four phones in my previous video. These are two of them here, and I have the OnePlus 60 and the Honor Magic 2, which just recently released. Now, the OnePlus 60 is paired with a Snapdragon 845 chipset, and the Honor Magic 2 is paired with a Kirin 980, their latest to date, which just released a few weeks ago. They're both paired with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Now, these two phones, I have enabled performance mode on the on a Magic 2 as well as the gaming mode which optimizes RAM, GPU and CPU on the OnePlus 6T. Guys this is Technic and without further ado, let's go. I hit the timer and I started them pretty much at the exact same time. Now I did pull the slider down on the Magic 2 for the selfie cam because I feel that that is relevant since that is the only way that you can actually take a selfie. Um, you can see that due to that there is a little bit of a delay with the Honor Magic 2 as opposed to the OnePlus 60. I did enable a VPN here since I am in China so that I can use all these other apps such as Facebook, social media apps as well as Google services. Now going into YouTube we're only a slight second behind with the Magic 2 as opposed to the OnePlus 6 but going into Photoshop they are pretty much on par opening up Adobe Premiere. As soon as I exported a clip, you could see how much faster the Honor Magic 2 was as opposed to the OnePlus 6T, which enables it to pull ahead quite a bit. Now, we already have Subway Surfers finished on the Magic 2. It's still booting up on the 6T, and the Magic 2 is now ending with Flip Dive and only going into it on the 6T. Temple Run 2 is a little bit more graphics intense and takes a little bit longer to load, but once we have it up and running, it is then closed on the Magic 2 and still going up and loading on the 6T. Now I then go into PUBG, and this is the Chinese variant since I enjoy playing the game without the use of a proxy or VPN. Um, so it is going slightly slower here due to it being on a VPN right now, but they are exactly the same, guys. Um, so after PUBG, we go into Spotify, and now we're already loading Spotify on the Magic 2, where the OnePlus 60 just went into it, already hit Netflix on the Magic 2, and going into it once again on the 60. There's the Antutu mark, and hit that lap, and now going backwards on the Magic 2, where we're about to just start doing that on the 60, lapping that just four seconds behind. Now, going through all of them, you can see that either phone don't have any issues when it comes to reloading the apps. Neither of the apps have closed on either device, and that is due to the hefty 8 gigs of RAM. Now, I'm sure if there were just 6 gigs of RAM, it would be able to hold this quite well as well. Now, you can see we pretty much a row ahead on the Magic 2, but what's interesting here is that when we get to system apps on the Magic 2, all the apps had to reopen. Though it is still quite snappy, we still had to reopen them with the OnePlus 6T. We did not have to do that, guys. So, yeah, finishing off on the on a Magic 2 is about 4 seconds ahead of the 6T, and getting those final results, we have the OnePlus 6T weighing in at 2 minutes and 11 seconds, as opposed to the Honor Magic 2's 2 minutes and 7 seconds. I am really slightly disappointed with the Kirin 980 chipset, since it is only 4 seconds ahead of the OnePlus 6T. That is not what I was expecting. This is the latest Kirin 980 chipset from Huawei, which is going to hold them until this time next year where Snapdragon is releasing a new one in the beginning of next year. So I must say I'm slightly disappointed. And until next time guys, this is Technic.